Well, it can be hard to recognize the significance of something in the moment. It may not be until 10, 15, even 20 years later, we realize how special something was. Like the 2004 Wadena Deer Creek boys hockey team, the first ever to don the gold and blue, or the 2010-2011 team that had to practice and play without a home arena after an F4 tornado ravaged the town. Now this year's team is only 7-13, and 13. nothing special about that, but when people look back at the 23-24 Wolverines, they will see their success defined by something other than their record. It's not common for hockey teams to condition at the beginning of practice. But the boys who wear the W on their chest, they are uncommon. We graduated 10 seniors last year, and we came back this year. Now we've got a full, a full roster of 12. That includes the goalie. Yes, you heard that correctly. The Wolverines only have a roster of 12. It's so few that Wadena Deer Creek hockey almost folded, if not for those 12 boys lacing up their skates on game days. You've been knocked around, you've been knocked down, you've been beaten and broken. What's not going to break and what hasn't broken is your willingness to come to the rink and play. You guys are going to be a lot of things in life when this is over. But what we know about you is you're not going to be quitters. You're not going to quit. At times this season, the Wolverines played with as few as eight available skaters, presenting the squad with plenty of challenges. We don't got anything behind us, so when we got eight players, everybody's got to do their own part. They got to do well in the classroom, they got to do well on the ice, they got to keep themselves healthy and just play as smart as you can. Right here! In games, we like work to rest ratio, so you like play for two minutes, then rest for one, and like just tons of water and just stuff like that. It's also common for opposing teams to carry twice as many players, so the Wolverines must be uncommon and play with twice as much heart. We just got to outwork them as much as we can, play the game how we're supposed to, play with what the coach tells us to do, work hard, skate hard, get bucks deep, all that kind of stuff. I always trust our guys. I think they're going to go out there and give a great effort all the time, no matter what. Even if they're gassed or they're just fresh start of the game, I think they're going to give their best effort. So even though their jerseys are yellow, the young men wearing them are not. Their confidence is solid as the stripes that adorn their uniforms, never discouraged by what they don't have, and always encouraged by what they do. I think we just focus on having fun, because like it's easy to be negative, but we're all playing hockey and we love to play hockey. And you're playing with some of your best buddies, so you just focus on the good stuff. And that good stuff is playtime, the benefit of having a short bench. Last year I didn't get any skating time really, you know, a lot of seniors ahead of me. And this year I'm getting a third of the ice time, but who doesn't want to play, right? So it's great. Uncommon playtime aside, this year's team has a lot in common with teams from the past. The fans are all still the same. There's still a lot of fans coming and cheering us on. Yeah! The energy is still the same. Great coaches still, so a lot has stayed the same. It's really just number-wise, I guess, that's changed. But the numbers are growing, all because a dozen boys continue to take the ice and inspire a new generation of Wadena Deer Creek hockey players. I don't know if they know that, but when they connect the dots years later, they'll be able to, with a great deal of pride, say, you know what, our legacy was that we're the ones that, that made that happen. It's great, because, you know, I was skeptical about if we were going to have a team this year with all the low numbers, and, you know, next year, we're just hoping that a little more people can come out and play. And that's why the boys finish practice like they started. You see, they understand that legs feed the wolf, or in this case, the wolverine, because it's become common to be uncommon if you wear the W on your chest. When the chips are down and you've got eight players and everybody shows up, right? Nobody dialed in and said, ah, coach, I don't think I feel like playing tonight. I don't know that you can do this with any team. You know, a team is comprised of individuals, first and foremost, but they have to be the, the right ones. And we definitely got the right ones. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.